Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. Modatag Curriculum. Information and Communication Technology for Grade 7. Our topic is Spreadsheet Software, Conditional Formatting Functions. The content standard for this lesson is to demonstrate an understanding of using productivity software. Performance standard, the learners perform the utilization of productivity tools in a safe and responsible manner. The learners shall be able to create spreadsheets with conditional formatting and data analysis. Do you know what a spreadsheet is? Look at the words below and try to connect them to come up with an idea. Accountant. Software. Tabulate. Rows and columns. Numbers and datas. Automatic calculations. Formulas. Can you give a definition of spreadsheet using the following words? Spreadsheet is a type of software used by accountants and other professionals to tabulate numbers and data in a grid format. It organizes information into rows and columns, allowing for automatic calculations and the use of formulas to analyze and manage the data efficiently. Spreadsheets are commonly used for tasks like budgeting, financial analysis, data tracking, and reporting. They offer features like sorting, filtering, and complex calculations, making them versatile tools for handling a variety of data-related tasks. Popular spreadsheet software includes Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, and Apple Numbers. Supply the missing conditional symbol. Answer it with equal greater than less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. What do you call the following symbol? Let's add some color. Color with violet, all numbers equal to 50, color with green, all numbers less than 50, and color with red, all numbers greater than 50. Did you get this right? Did you know that we can do this easily using the conditional formatting feature in MS Excel? This is how to do it. First highlight or select all numbers that you want fill with colors, then click home, then click conditional formatting. Click highlight cell rules, then click equal to. Format cells that are equal to 50, then click the drop down button and click custom format. Click fill button and choose the violet color. Then highlight again the number. Click the conditional formatting, click highlight cell rules, then click less than. Format the cells that are less than 50, click the drop down button. And choose custom format, then click color green. Then highlight again the numbers, click the conditional formatting. Click the highlight cell rules, then click greater than, format the cells that are greater than 50, click the drop down button and choose custom format, then click color red.
This procedure is much easier, right? What are the conditional formatting commands? First is the highlight cell rules, then the top and bottom rules, number three is the data bars. Next is the color scales. And lastly, the icon sets. Highlight cell rules includes greater than, less than, between, equal to, text that contains, a date occurring, duplicate values. Top or bottom rules includes top 10 items, top 10%, bottom 10 items, bottom 10%, above average, below average. Data bars. Gradient fill and solid fill. Icon sets. Directional. Shapes. Indicators. Ratings. Conditional formatting is used to highlight specific data in a cell and to set or determine rules based on its use. Conditions are rules that are based on corresponding text or specified numerical values. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.